Hey everyone, welcome to the booth at Createx Colors. I'm Chris Arpin, and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about graphic taping. Um, I'm going to highlight a, a technique that I'd seen by a gentleman by the name of Pete Finland do, and I'd seen him do this technique, and I think it's a very cool, uh, intricate looking, but pretty easy to achieve uh, technique for, especially for background. So you need two colors. So I started with our sealer. I mixed a, our Autoborn sealer tan and our silver sealer together, one to one, to make this uh, brown kind of metallic back base color. Over the top of that, I did two coats of our Wicked Bronze, and I mixed a little bit of our 4050, which is what we're recommending, the 4050 instead of the 4030, especially for large gun applications. So 25-30% of the 4050 in with the bronze. Now I have my background color. So now what we did was, I have a little tape out, but that's not important, that's just more for the effect. The, the key to this technique is the way you tape this out. Now you can see here, this is all ready to spray. This side is, is, I left this in so you can see kind of the theory behind what it is that I'm doing. So I'm gonna pull out every other one of these three quarter inch tape lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out so you can see what we're starting to get. So now everything you spray is obviously gonna be what's not taped up. So I'm gonna keep talking to you guys about this and tell you what it is that we're doing while I untape this. So what we're going to do is spray a line across these panels, just a nice straight simple line. And what that's going to do is give us this checkerboard pattern, which is really cool again because it only uses one color. So the base color is already down and we're going to achieve this pattern with just one other color. So now this is all taped out, nice, good, ready to spray. Uh, in terms of fine line tape or, or tape, there's a bunch of different products from, from 3M and FBS. We recommend uh, any of those products, uh, it's just especially something maybe more towards waterborne paint systems. Uh, there are tapes specifically for water and obviously that's going to give you a better result. So this is my Wicked Bronze. I took the Wicked Bronze that I used for my background color and I added a little bit of our Candy 2 Oak Dirt Track Brown right around a two to one ratio. So two parts of the bronze to one part dirt track brown. And I added just a splash of semi-opaque black just to darken up just a little bit more. So now what I'm gonna do is get that in my gun. We're gonna set this panel up and we're gonna start spraying this stripe and you guys can see exactly how easy and how cool this is. So hang out, we'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, we're back and they're ready to spray. So everything is all taped, nice, nice. I have my darkened up like I said, my bronze with a little bit of candy mixed in, ready to go. And what the, I'm going to do is actually set my gun up for like a two inch pattern. Obviously, whatever size, the size of the project that you're working on is going to dictate how big or how small. So for this, it's right around two inches, you guys can see. Just about there. So what I'm going to do is make a line, a nice two inch stripe right across. And then I'll stagger that up roughly two inches and make another. So you'll just have two inch light fan pattern all the way across, equally spaced. So I'm going to go ahead and spray that, you guys can see what it looks like. Okay guys, we're back. Step one is complete. This is totally dry and that's the nice thing about uh, working in a lighter pass like that because this is not going to be super wet and that's another reason I like this because it doesn't build up a serious edge. So, you know, two passes across to really get your color and you're good. So now what I'm going to do, now that this is dry, I'm going to go ahead and lay more three-quarter tape right over what I just sprayed. So we're going to positive tape over all these and what we'll do is then come back and remove the masking tape that we painted over. So now you guys can see we're starting to get that sequence of our weave. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all taped up and uh, we'll see you guys in a minute. We'll keep spraying. Okay guys, we're back once again. And now you can really see what this is starting to look like. I have all the stripes that I just sprayed taped back off, so now I'm gonna spray in between. And it's gonna be the same exact pattern, small two inch, but we're gonna go where I didn't spray. So you can use your overspray as a reference. So now I'm gonna try to hit each one of these marks in between and do the exact same thing. It'll just be straight across. So we'll see what that looks like.
are totally done now. You can see again, all my stripes are done. And the nice thing, like I said before, is it's such a minimal graphic pitch because all you're doing is making two, two passes just to get some color saturation because you want that fade into the next color. So now we'll start untaping this. You guys can really see what it is that we have going on. You, you can start to see that checker flag pattern. Really start to pop. So now we can leave it just like this. One more thing you're gonna wanna do, or you don't have to do, but something I like to do, is go back and just kinda shade my taped out area. So I'll take this same color that I mix, just dial my gun and I'll needle it in to close the fan right up and just lightly shade to burn that edge. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. We'll do that. Uh, but we're going to do this one step further after I do that and we're going to actually mix some candy 2O, take it one more step and we'll tequila yellow over this whole panel and that'll totally change the look of this. So I'm going to get this untaped. I'll show you guys what I mean when I say burn the edge, and then we'll start candy. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, we're back. Again, it's totally untaped. You can see the full effect. And now we're going to do what I told you I was going to do is burn these edges. What we call, I call burning the edge just a little bit. So it's the same color that I just sprayed. I just zeroed in my nozzle now, so my fan is way closed. And I'm just going to ride the edge of that tape line and darken this up. Okay guys, we are back and we are totally finished. So we are completely untaped. Now I think you get a great visual of what it is that we were going after and the look that we were trying to achieve. And, and it's got a very cool dimension to it with, with not a lot of effort. I mean, it's, it's more intricate taping and, and the application than anything else. And you get a, a really cool effect with what's not really hard to achieve. So we could leave it like that. Or like what I was saying is we opted to go for another step and that's going to be application of uh, some tequila yellow, our Candy 2O tequila yellow. So I have it already mixed up in my gun. It's right around 6 to 1. So 6 parts 40-50, 1 part tequila yellow. And I'm going to probably do 3 or 4 coats on here and see what this looks like. This is a lighter color, so it's just going to warm this up and the darker areas will just get that much richer. So we're going to one coat. You guys can see what that looks like. back I have two coats of candy over my panel and uh, I said we're gonna do two to three or three to four I think three is really gonna put this where I want it um, one of the things I wanted to touch on real quickly is it's very easy to kind of lose sight of where you were especially when you're canning an entire panel so it's always something we always recommend doing is having a test panel handy so when I sprayed this initially with the background color this is the actual bronze color I have a card that I sprayed. So now I have a good visual. Not only is it good to check your color to make sure you're happy with how it sprays and the coverage, but it's a good visual indicator of where you started and where you're headed, what direction you're going, especially if you're doing something in a larger area. And uh, it's, it's very easy to kind of get lost if this is all taped up and masked out and you, you, know, you untape and you're like, oh, it's way too dark or that's not what I had in mind. So just a little side note, that's a good, good uh, thing to have, just as a tool in your toolbox, you know, in, in terms of just having something to check and have reference to. So this is totally dry. I'm going to put one more coat of candy on it. We'll get it all sprayed, let it dry up, we'll get it cleared, and then we'll take a look at the finished product. Hey guys, welcome back. We have our panel all cleared and we are calling this project done. Uh, I think you guys can agree that it's a very easy to achieve effect that gives you a very deep and, and a little more uh, 
graphically uh, interesting background. So this is great for doing background work. It's a very simple technique, and it's and it works with any kind of color. As long as you have, you can do a contrasting color that's very vividly different, or you can do a color that's just a shade or two darker. So, uh, and then again, you can see that doing a candy over this whole panel just helps achieve that much more intensity in terms of color. So uh, I hope you guys dug this video, and we'll see you guys next time.